How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ace. Today, I'm once again joined by Salsa. Hello! And today, we are checking out Stevie Ray Vaughan, Life Without You. So, have you ever heard of Stevie Ray Vaughan? Do you know anything about him? No, I do not. <laughs> okay, valid. That's okay. So, Stevie Ray Vaughan is a blues guitarist who was born in Dallas, Texas. Okay. have to mention that because I'm from Texas. <laughs> He plays with a band called Double Trouble, who consists of Tommy Shannon on bass and Chris Layton on drums. He was really up and coming, like he, he was really popular throughout the 80s, and he was on drugs up until 1986 when he became sober, and oh. then in 1990 he died in a helicopter crash. Oh no! It was a drastically sad day for that... music that day. Yeah. That is so tragic. <laughs> but we, we still have all these fantastic performances by him, and I am excited to check this one out if you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, so let's get to it. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool. It's free. It tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check out the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. All our socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi. Yellow. If you're interested in supporting the channel, and getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me A Coffee link. The link to the video we're reacting to is also in there. And without further ado, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Life Without You. Here we go.
the first <laughs> thing I noticed mm -hmm. is he playing with his thumb? It's possible he might be hitting the the top string with his thumb. It's hard to tell, but I think you're right. I, when I if I well, I used to play guitar way back in the day, I don't anymore. My my thumb couldn't even reach that spot. My hands are so small. Okay. He played like hours and hours at a time like growing up, so he's like really proficient at playing guitar, so I'm sure that he, like he knows how much, you know, Obviously, his fingers have gotten a workout, you know, over the yeah, years. Yeah, uh, but I had another question. My second question is, do his hands cramp up during <laughs> shows? <laughs> like, I'm over here, like, just like, what the heck? <laughs> like, he's playing, I mean, he's playing so much. Yes, I thought it was glitter on his face, but no, it's sweat on his face dripping down. He is playing so long that he is sweating up there. Yeah, so I looked at the set list for this performance. This was the last song before the they came back on stage to do to do the encore performance. So this had been going on for a while. For like, yeah. It's also 1985, so the the lights were different back then than they oh, are. Oh yeah, now. I'm sure they were hot. They're so hot. Yeah, they're definitely hotter. This is September 21st, so it's still probably kind of warm, even though it is New Jersey. It's probably still pretty warm up there. So that, that could be a factor as well. You know, obviously this is probably like an hour-ish, possibly hour and a half in. So yeah, probably very, very hot by that point, just moving around and everything. And I mean, he was still on drugs at this point, so that could also be a factor. Oh yeah. The other thing I notice is when he is like playing behind his back, the audience is completely silent. I also don't know how large the Capitol Theater was. It, from what I remember, it's been torn down since then, but I, I don't know that it's like a super large venue, but it also could be like you can only hear, you know, the guitar and the, yeah, the instruments. Yeah, yeah. Like you might not be able to hear them cheering. I, the sound true, might not true. carry over. But holy crap, playing <laughs> behind your back? Mm -hmm. My hands can barely even like, I'm like thinking like, how like how how are you holding your like how are you holding your guitar behind your back so it's not rubbing up against your back mm -hmm. you know what i mean like oh. it would hit your clothes i feel like yeah like like, like i said i mean he he practiced hours and yeah. hours like growing up like every day he did this like it got to the point where Hallis is like broke and he had to put super glue back on his fingers to keep everything together Oh my god. That that level of playing. And by that point you're a guitar you've mastered the guitar. Holy crap, to have <laughs> that passion is insane. Oh, he was beyond passionate about yeah. guitar playing. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And his style as well. Like he's got the cowboy hat on. He's got Oh yeah. I like, the, love the... how he's dressed. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love also like the big music notes on his guitar strap. Yeah. He has at least two different guitar straps. This is one of the two that I've seen. The other one has his initials on it, SRV. Did he have it on in the beginning? He traded guitars. I just yeah, realized I, that. I saw him in the beginning. I saw something happen where someone was playing with this strap. Yeah. So at first, I guess that's why they zoomed in because we didn't really get to see anything. He handed it off I right think, there. Yeah, I think I think because he was playing with tuning it. So I think he thought yeah. it was out of tune or something. It's it's possible. It could have been out or of tune. Or he just wanted to switch. <laughs> it could also be he wanted to switch. I, I, like right here, you could see the, the stage hand. Like putting yeah, the, the strap on that. here. I saw that. I saw I was that like, part too. Yeah. What is happening? <laughs> At first, I thought the the guitar strap like fell off or something. I yeah, did, same. I, it didn't even register that he swapped guitars. He played I the red one first, notice. and then yeah, it just so like just going back and playing through like this like, while well, it's paused. That that helped a lot. <laughs> Does anyone know in the comments why he switched guitars? That is a great question. I, I I would definitely love to learn that as well. I, yeah. I don't know how often he did that either. Like, I'm not yeah, really sure. Yeah, is it like part of his act or like did something go wrong? I, it, it's very possible. Could have popped a string, you know, it could have been out of tune. He did, I believe, try tuning the guitar at the very beginning. He did because I saw that. I was like, dang, he's tuning that yeah. on spot. <laughs> right there, yeah. So it huh, could have just been a little out of tune and uh, like they, they just know like the stage yeah, hands just wild know. is like he didn't like if it was out of tune or something went wrong i no one like we didn't even notice like he was so calm about it he's he's 
beyond that's a professional. Like a, yeah, yeah that's, a prof- <laughs> that's professionalism. <laughs> so I, it's hard to surmise, but I would guess the stagehand handed him the guitar and he was able to play it while they were setting him up and taking yeah. away the first one. Yeah. That's wow. just what I'm guessing. That's so impressive. There were also instances where he bent down. He was doing something. Know. I'm not 100% I think it's sure. The- the things you press with your feet. It could have been a pedal. It could have been it could have been a, a, a volume button too. The amp, yeah. He also did go to the amp and turn it up too. Good. The, okay, this guy's here. just like right here. a musician. He knows what he wants. <laughs> like, holy crap. But yeah, and then yeah, he, he swapped to playing behind his back, which Jeez. is always just a treat to see. Ha oh, my <laughs> arms will be so he played for a while like that too. Like my arms will be sore. Oh, he's he's done things where he like I, I don't know if he's going to, but where he like flings it behind his back and back to his front and back, and he just keeps going oh, back and forth. Crap. He also played it I, briefly upside down. I don't know if he caught that. I but. was more looking at the sticker on the back and wondering what it was. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> right here, he was playing it upside down. At I didn't too. see that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So yeah, he's got some crazy techniques that that he does. I also, wow. I, yeah, I don't know what the sticker is. I can't really. It, it kind of looks like a fox in a human more shape. If I had I to know. guess, it's probably a woman. But I mean, I, I yeah, I don't, really know. I don't know. So yeah, if y'all know what the sticker is on on his guitar, I w- we would definitely love to learn that. Let as us well. know. <laughs> Actually, right here we get a, a decent shot at the audience, so you can see the the back as well, kind of with the with the yeah. lights back there. It's so it's not that big. It, it doesn't look like it's huge. If I had to guess, Capitol Theater was probably like an old style movie theater. And oh, okay. Yeah, so the, everybody has those kind of old fashioned like seats. Like the seats, yeah. Mm-hmm. The only reason I'm thinking about that is because I went to like an old, older theater to watch a comedian perform, and it was kind of the similar setup. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, can't be jumping up and down with with those kind of seats necessarily nah nah, i'd feel bad for the person behind me (laughs) well yeah fantastic performance i definitely need to see the rest of this if you're ready i'm ready all right so here we go i hope we've all learned something lately about a few things there's no longer time for any of us to do things like uh, it happened to a few friends of ours over in the mother country, down south, anywhere in the world where people push people down instead of pick them up. We are all here to help each other, love each other, and be brothers and sisters. We've got one chance in this life to get out of here, whether we have to do it over and over or not. And that is to learn to love everybody else and treat them just like ourselves, or forget it. (laughs) Let's all try to learn a few things and pick each other up when we're down. Not ever push nobody down because we're up. You with me? All right.
That was the challenge. He came to show us. Get my guitar in tune. Wow. So good. <laughs> what was he doing with his mouth? Was that the... The, the whammy bar? Yeah. Was that what he was doing with his mouth or no? He didn't... I didn't see a whammy bar on the guitar, actually. I didn't either, actually. so I'm confused what he was doing with his mouth. So he was he was playing with his teeth at one point. That was his teeth? Yeah. Against the, 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 the strings? Yeah. Ah! Was... Why did it sound so good? How did it sound so good? Yeah, 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 that. Yeah. Yeah, he was playing with his teeth. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. How? He 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 learned from like just other guitarists. Like Jimi Hendrix mostly played behind his head. Like I think once behind his back. But Stevie Ray Vaughan mostly went for his back when he plays. And wow. yeah, it's just like his style is just something else. Like he's he's one of the greatest guitarists of all time. Like without dispute. Yeah. Holy crap. I feel like I just watched a legend. Like, you did. Oh yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel. I I feel it. We we got to hear him do like a speech. I, I I don't know how much of that was like rehearsed or if it was just like in the moment kind of thing. Yeah. Some of it. I, I feel like might have been a, it was a little incoherent, I feel like, but the majority of yeah. it, we got the gist of it, I feel like. And it was it was a very positive message, which I, I definitely liked. I was admiring his jewelry. He's got like that huge necklace and it's different stones. And then it looks like he's got this jade bracelet. And then he's also got jade rings on as well. So, yeah, it's it's Native American style like jewelry that he wore a lot yeah and, and i don't remember the material that it's made out of yeah native american that's what i was gonna say he mentioned at the very end like somebody kept his guitar in tune so i think maybe yeah. it, it could have been that yeah when he swapped out, out, out the guitars yeah and then the other thing is the audience was cheering we just couldn't hear them throughout most of the things so yeah, yeah i think yeah, that's yeah. what it was i was laughing at one point because <laughs> i i saw someone in the audience having their hands up and like freaking out and i was like it was just one person i was like that's me <laughs> i i guess in here the sound doesn't carry as as well as it normally would so i guess that's it, what it yeah was. it could be the mic set up too yeah but we did get to hear them i think while he was talking and we got yeah, to hear yeah, yeah, him yeah. we got to hear them at the end too yeah and the only other thing is, I don't know who was playing keyboard. I could not mm. find any information on that at all. So I don't really? know if that's somebody that's just for this performance or if that's somebody else that's part of Double Trouble. I, I couldn't find any information. So that's another thing I would definitely like to to know as well. Double Trouble, they, they, they knew when to come in. They knew when to let Stevie take over and do his thing. Yeah, and... I was impressed with that because like after his speech, I'm like, how? How was it like so coherent? Like it just made sense. Mm -hmm. And he just started playing and I was like, how did that just like all sound like a song? Like it like I'm not a musician obviously. So that like blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's definitely flawless in, in in terms of like setup for the song. It's just Yeah. It just floats so well. I'm just very I'm very sad that he passed away. Oh, we all are. We're, yeah, we're still in mourning. I, I think. I, that, yeah, that that makes me really sad. That is a legend right there. I think wow sums it up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> so yeah, Stevie Ray Vaughan. If y'all have any suggestions or anything we should know about, definitely drop those in the comments below. We'd love to check those out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool. It's free. It tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check out the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. All our socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi. Hello. The release schedule I was dropping on the socials a couple days early, so if you would like a sneak peek as to what's coming out the following week, that's the best way to do that. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me Coffee link. Each request is only $5 and it helps me out a bunch. The link to the video we reacted to is also in there. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment hashtag life without you. I think that's it for this reaction. Check you out in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.